Hi, I know this is an atypical way for me to start a video, but welcome. It is currently nine o'clock at night and I am getting ready for bed. But tomorrow, I wanna make a video on Sunday scaries, what they are and what I do to handle my Sunday scaries. Because let's face it, no matter how much you love your life, there are things that intimidate us about starting a new week, a new chapter, returning to something that has energy that maybe doesn't service in a full sense at the moment and that's okay and i want to show you now that i'm healing and know how to handle those feelings healthily what i do about my sunday scaries so with no further ado i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you in the morning let's get started Welcome to a new day, a post Sunday scary day. Point number one is gonna be to wake up gently. And concurrently with that, you could also put in setting yourself up the night before to not stress yourself out about getting ready for a new day, a new week, a new sort of routine coming out of the weekend. For example, last night I was up way later than I ordinarily am. I went to bed around midnight and part of being kind to myself and waking up gently meant pushing that alarm back. And so right now it's 740, which is a lot later than a normal start of the day for me, but it is what it is. Then I'll always make my bed. I'll always try to make my, my space clean, comfortable, open. I don't wanna feel like it's a mess. Literally, like with things around, that has an effect on your brain and it has an effect on your mind state. And so part of that also is, as you saw, setting up my desk, getting my laptop here ready to go so that when I sit down with my coffee, I have my water and my blue light glasses and I can just sit down and enjoy some time with presence before I have to go to work. So when it comes to navigating those feelings of dread that are associated with experiencing the Sunday scaries, right? Like there's something about your day, starting your day, ending your day. There's something about this day that you're not excited for, that you're not looking forward to at all, that you're probably actively dreading. The short answer to this is you have to find presence, but let me explain a little bit. I have a list of things that I love to do, reading, writing, um, writing poetry, journaling, meditating, all of these things I find joy in. But the key is knowing what exactly is gonna make me feel better in this particular moment, leading with my feelings, not just thinking in the morning, okay, well, there's five things that I love to do and I would love to do, Realistically, if I don't have time to do those five things, then it's just gonna become a coping mechanism and it's gonna be more stressful than positive. Today, for example, like I got up late and in the past that would really stress me out because I wouldn't have time to do all these things that I want to do. But today, you know what I did instead? I just started 
a documentary on rock climbing. I didn't do anything productive. I didn't write. I didn't expose my brain to anything that, you know, maybe I'm gonna learn and, and hold on to. All I did was find something that was fascinating to me. I led with my feelings and I've just had the most present morning ever. Was it extraordinarily productive? Maybe not, but when you're feeling these feelings, the important thing to do is to embrace yourself, recognize that you're feeling them, let yourself feel them, say it's okay to feel this way and find something that can inspire joy in you, that can spark joy in you, that can bring you back into the present moment. And for me, that was watching a YouTube video. My lovely girlfriend actually learned about this in her psych class last semester. So I thought I would read to you her synopsis of the notes. Sunday scaries are rooted in sensory preconditioning. Sensory preconditioning removes the intermediate. You can think of it as A to B to C becoming A to C. In terms of Sunday scaries, A is Sunday, B is Monday morning, and C is what you feel Monday morning. Sunday in itself should have no emotions. However, because the B to C connection is so strong, Monday morning means waking up early, traffic, stress, etc. Our brain begins to attach C to the thought of B instead of the act of B happening. It's no different than getting excited the night before your birthday. Our body doesn't know time. Our body just knows what we have felt in response to stimuli. If you hate Mondays, you're going to feel it Sunday. And if you build enough resentment, you're also going to start hating Saturdays too. Hence why it is so important to live in the present and to honor yourself. Just be here, man. That's all it takes. Now, the last tip that I want to provide is something that I learned from my coach. And it is around the language that we use when it comes to approaching things that we're not looking forward to, that we're dreading. It's a simple shift, but if you can change your sentences from, oh, I, I'm so upset that I have to do this, or I am dreading this, just change it to, I get to do this. Even if you are 100% lying to yourself, getting yourself in a state where you are priming yourself to look for the opportunities, look for the values that you generate from whatever you're doing, because I'll tell you a secret, even if you hate whatever it is, there are benefits to it. Maybe it's showing you what doors are closing behind you that no longer serve you. Maybe there are benefits that you're so blinded by the things that you don't like that you aren't acknowledging them. Whatever your personal case may be, I can let you know that when I'm preparing or anticipating some kind of an event that isn't 100% positive in my mind automatically, consciously reframing and shifting that narrative to a positive one will help you a lot. And I promise you it will go a long, long way when it comes to grounding yourself, securing yourself, and reminding yourself that no matter what you are doing, it has a purpose and it can serve you if you let the love in. That being said, guys, I am gonna wrap up the video here. If you liked this video, then please drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you next week.